I must say, a lot of things really boggle my mind sometimes. Like, I don't really want to get into it. Like, why people don't like certain things, why people hate certain things. But none, but none of those boggle me more than this. Why do people hate this book? What is it about this book that this... What is it about this book that it did to people? Why do people have a striking vendetta against this book, exactly? Mockingjay, if you couldn't read it. Well, because Max decided to put everything backwards for some reason. But exp I want someone to... Exp I want a full explanation why people... They didn't, it's not that they don't like it or thought it was just okay. No, people hate this book. As if it was like, I don't know... <laughs> Kind of like if it was the equivalent of Spider-Man 3. But you don't hear much bad talk about this for some reason. And I don't have the first one with me. But you don't hear much bad talk about this as opposed to this. And again, this film is coming out soon and it looks pretty epic. The final trailer for this film is coming out this Sunday, so keep in touch. So um, I'll do a reaction to that. But people hate this book because I don't know why. So I guess it just boggles my mind, I guess. But really, anyone who knows me knows that I love this book. I love it to death. It is, I might read it again soon, but it is arguably my favorite of the three. I mean, I'm currently rereading this. I'm about like, uh, that's like the last half. I'm like the last third of it when the, the games actually begin. But, I mean, I've heard the argument that, you know, it's so different. Is that, oh, there's no Hunger Games anymore. In all actuality, like, do the Hunger Games actually do much? Like, in the, not in the sense of, like, you know, what they represent, but in the sense of what they physically do. In the grand scheme of things, they don't actually do much. Maybe in Catching Fire they did a lot, but... But in the grand scheme of things, like, nothing really much can happen in it. It's just a big arena where people fight to the death. I've heard that argument, saying that, oh, there's no Hunger Games in it, so therefore it sucks. But... And that, like, it sort of goes from the first one's about the Hunger Games, the second one's about a rebel rebellion, and about the games again. The third one isn't. It's just about some irrelevant war. Okay, this war isn't irrelevant. That was the purpose of this book, is to say, yeah, there's going to be a war, or there's a war possibly happening. This gives us that war. And it's written, per it's written almost beautifully, almost poetically, really. And, like... I was almost in t I was practically in tears when I first read it. Right down to the last bit to the bits they do with Peta and all of them. But I don't know. My question of the day or week, whatever, I don't know if I'll make this a regular thing. Why do people hate mocking Jay? And uh, if someone could give me like I don't want like a simple answer like, oh they did this, they did this. No, I want a full detailed answer as to why people hate this book. Because the small stuff I'm reading is like, oh, the ending was bad. Oh, they killed Prim. Oh, they did this, this, this. Just small, simple stuff. No, 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 no. That doesn't constitute anymore. That, for me, that doesn't mean anything. Saying, oh, they did this one small thing, so therefore it ruined for me. That doesn't, that's not an answer. I'm sorry. I want, like, a full detailed answer. I've had, I've heard some good answers, but, like, maybe, like, two, three, maybe? Three? <laughs> Thanks. How's the Hunger Games thing? Like that. Three good answers, and that's about it. Okay, my tea is ready. So yeah, give me a full answer, people. I want to know why people hate this book. Alright, see you later.